they get away with it? No, he's left a red to the right corner at least. Just caught it too thin, and that's why he lost the cue ball. He's going to wonder if he's going to get another chance. Six. We'll switch to left handed again. Seven. And again, tough shot to play, stun run through. Made it look easy. Can he bring another red out here? 15. Not quite. But a chance to go into them here if he can find the gap between those reds. 15. Maybe on one to the middle. 22. Stephen Henry used to be a great middle pocket player, but this guy just as good. Thirty. Thirty-one. Now he may go into them again, but doesn't have to. We've got a couple of reds you can play for. That took the opportunity. And he's on one. And they've split nicely. 38. This isn't looking good for Zhang Yong. 39. And things happen so quickly with Leo Sullivan. 's over screwed that one though fortunately there's a red over the pocket 46. and the other end of the table 47 I know Andy Goldstein was saying that he would have paid to watch today's stars and show today it's a great lineup. And if he does win, which it looks like he will be doing, he'll be playing again some stage 50. today. Listen, if Andy 51. says he's going to pay to watch it, it must be good. <laughs> it has been so far from this man. Fifty-six. Yeah, he's just trying to work things out, but. Two reds, two colours would be enough. 57. Hashtag Home Nations. If you've got any questions for Ronnie O'Sullivan, assuming he does come through, he'll be in our studio very shortly. 63. 64. So we've arrived at match ball after 52 minutes playing time. Zhang Yong did well to win that fourth frame considering everything. But Ronnie O'Sullivan has been very impressive this afternoon. Now, can he make a third century? 71. 72. Just overrun that one. Frame time again. Seven, Look at seven. that. Seven minutes. Seventy-one. 
58. Well, the last frame of the Bingham Buffay match was 55 minutes. This match so far here has lasted 53. And that's five frames. What for? 85. Little switch to left handed again. 86. I'm still waiting for him to play with one handed. Ninety-three. Ninety-four. So this black then for his third century of the afternoon. Brilliant. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. And the crowd over the moon. One hundred and two. Well, there are many big hitters still going in this tournament, but Ronnie O'Sullivan just raising the bar here. He's been quiet this season, we've not seen too much of him. 114. But we may yet see plenty more of him in the coming days here in Barnsley if he carries on like this. Stay there. Stay there. No. Someone running into the arena. <laughs> He's going to carry on. I'm not quite sure what she's doing. I'm not quite sure how she got in past the security, frankly. Well, he's going to let her pop the black. We'll have a go at it. This couldn't happen to anyone else, could it? A bit of practice needed, I think. So, a rather unusual end to the afternoon, if it will end. And Ronnie O'Sullivan books his place in the last 16 of the English Open, despite that pitch invasion later on. He's had breaks of 126, 127 and 129. And he is into the last 16 very comfortably indeed. A really terrific performance from the Rocket this afternoon. He beats Chang Yong 4-1.